Hello and welcome to the in-depth series section of Drishti IAS. I am Aisha Singh and in today's episode we will be discussing the topic of India's first ever deep water transshipment port that is known as the Viz Vijanjam port. So with this name I think you might be able to actually guess that the location of this port is in which state? V I Z H I N J A M. So, by name, we can understand that it, we can guess that it can be one of the southern states. So, it is the state of Kerala, where it is located. So, let us know that why is this port so special and what is the features that make this port so special. So, first of all, about the timeline, first we will be looking at the news. Then Vizianjam International Seaport Project, what are its features, major milestones, why India need a container transshipment port, why is it so important, what are the benefits that India as a nation will get out of this port and in the end prelims MCQ. Topic is of importance from general studies paper 1 that is geography and also can be important from quick facts for prelims. So, let us begin and the news talks about CPM Congress fight over the credit over the Vizanjam port, the project and its significance. So, we will not go into the political aspect, we will be focusing on the port and what makes this port so special and why is it called the first ever deep water port of India. So, let us first look at the location of the Vizanjam port. So, it is located in the state of Kerala, one of the southernmost state of India and in Kerala also it is located in the South Kerala almost on the borders with Tamil Nadu. So, this is the location of the Vijanjam port. So, Kerala Chief Minister on October 15th has flagged in the first ever cargo ship at the Vijanjam International Seaport Project. So, the first ever cargo ship has arrived at the port and this is country's first deep water transshipment port and this is India's first deep water transshipment port. So, there are few points and terms that we need to understand. First of all, what is transshipment port? This is the first thing we will knowing. What is deep water port? Because when you will know these things, then only you will be able to know that why is this being referred to as the first and whenever something is first, that in itself becomes very special. So, it is the first deep water transshipment port. You need to know the location in which state this, pro this port is located, why this port is regarded as the first port that is the deep water transshipment port, name of the port. So, see first of all transshipment port. So, usually what happen, imagine this is the first country, this is second country and this is the third country. Like a ship from the first country is going to third country. but the ship needs to unload in between to re the the ship cannot reach directly to the third country so it needs some it needs to stop somewhere in between for loading and unloading of the material so then what will it do the first ship from first country the ship will go to the second country do the unloading of the material and then after some time from second country, the ship will move to the third country. So, this process of transshipment that is mo moving from one place to another place that is the loading and unloading of materials at one place. This process is called transshipment. So, till now India did not have this port. Any port was not offering this facility. And then deep water. So, we all know that there are two type of ports and two, first is deep water and then there are inland port also, but we will be looking into the deep water ports. So, what happens is like see India have ports on, India in total have 13 major ports on the western side, western coast and the eastern coast starting from Gujarat to Maharashtra, Karnataka, Kerala, then Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha, West Bengal. So, India in total has 13 major ports. So, what happens? 
that deep water port you must have seen those big big ships those huge gigantic ships which carry huge amount of cargoes from one place to another place so these kind of ships they travel and they see port and they can access port which are situated in deep water see because these huge and gigantic ships when they move they need a lot of depth inside the sea or the ocean like for example they need at least 20 to 30 feet depth now what becomes a problem that if a port is not situated in deep water then these huge and gigantic ships they cannot enter into the port so what happened till now that india did not had a deep water transshipment port because of this problem but now with the Vijanyam port of Kerala, we will be able to cater this problem which we were not able to cater till now that the huge gigantic ships can now also enter in India and can do the loading and unloading of big huge amount of materials because the deep water will not be a problem for now. I will be going into the technical things and will be telling you about the depth and everything in the coming slides so now i think you must be able to clearly very well define that india's deep water transshipment port what does it mean transshipment loading and unloading and then moving on to other direction deep water it means it will be able to cater those big gigantic ships now vijanyam international seaport project so it is a 7600 crore transshipment deep water multipurpose sea seaport project multipurpose multipurpose means it will not be catering to just one aspect it will be into and it will be looking into multiple it means more than three to four aspects of a vessel and also of how the vessels can be diversified and can be used into many ways and the seaport can also function into multiple directions then it is built by Adani Ports and SEZ Private Limited. So, if the question comes who is building up this project, then it is Adani Ports and SEZ Private Limited. And it is being run on the PPP, that is the Public Private Partnership model, and the model name is or the model is DBFOT model, which stands for design build finance operate and transfer first it will be designed and then it will be built finance will come from different directions then the operation of the port will be started and then the transfer will take place and the deal is for 40 years and above 40 years the provisions will extend to 20 years that is 40 plus 20 and the investment the investment for the port would be coming from Adani group for around rupees 2454 and rupees 1235 crore will be mobilized from the state and the central government as viability gap funding. Now what is viability gap funding? This is a term which you will hear many a times in news and especially from the perspective of the public private partnership. Now what is viability gap funding? Uh, name itself is telling you a lot of things. First is funding. Funding means generating capital from someone. Gap, it means certain kind of gap is coming up. That means that the cost of the project is way too high and the finance which is available is low. So, there is a certain kind of gap which needs to be fulfilled. Viability, it means that the amount which is coming has to be viable. Should be able to fill the gap which is present between the capital which is needed and the capital which is present. Like for example, you can say that for building up a project 100 rupees is required but we only have 40 rupees and there is a gap of 60 rupees so from where those 60 rupees would come so what happens and this project is very important this project is very important from the perspective of the infrastructure creation but the finance for this or the capital for this project is not available so from where this 60 rupees will come so, this 60 rupees will come through the viability gap funding. So, this is what is viability gap funding. So, viability gap funding is also used in 
to generate money in this project and it is built by Adani Ports and SEZ Private Limited. The model name is DBFOT which stands for Design, Build, Finance, Operate and Transfer. It is for time period is 40 years and it is a multi-purpose seaport project. Now, what are the features of the Vijanyam port which makes it so special? So, that is the natural depth of more than 18 meters scalable up to 20 meters, which is very crucial to get large vessels and mother ships, those gigantic huge ships. Like look at this picture. So, these are the kind of ships which till now were not coming to India because of not being able to deal with the transshipment vessels but now with the creation of this port these kind of big vessels and motherships would be dealt in India. So, the natural depth because see these kind of big ships they need the depth in the water to travel because when these ships travel first of all there is an area of the ship which is inside also and then when the ship goes forward it displaces a lot of water. So, that movement that space for the movement of the ship has to be dealt at that port. So, that will be done. So, a depth which is scalable up to 20 meters, the big ships would be able to come to the Vijanyam port and it is designed to cater to contain container transshipment, multipurpose and break bulk cargo. It means the big cargo ships can come into this port and they can transship the cargo and then they can move to the other place also. Then it is located 10 nautical miles from the international shipping route. And till now these for, for the purpose of the transshipment, the boat or the big vessels or the big ships were not coming to India. They were going to Singapore. They were even going to our neighbor Colombo. So these kind of places the ships used to go. But in India, the, for the purpose of the transshipment, the ships were not coming. And the capacity in the first phase is 1 million TEU, which can be increased to 6.2 million. So, TEU is the unit in which the capacity is generated. So, that capacity is also scalable. So, these, these features makes the port special. Now, what has been the major milestone of this port? While on the one hand, the port the, the port has started to work, but it is not completely, the port has not been completely completed till now, but the ships have started to come and the first cargo ship has recently arrived at the port. So, the Hong Kong flagged heavy load carrier Zhenu Hua 15. So, this is a huge ship and it was carrying a ship to shore crane. So, this is the ship which has arrived at the Vijanyam port. And these kind of ships were not in earlier time or in previous time or days or years were not coming to India. So, this ship has arrived at the port and it is considered to be a major milestone after this ship has arrived and there are many more ships which will be arriving in the coming time. So, there are seven more such cranes which will be brought from China in the coming month and it is a heavy Loader career, it has brought rail mounted gantry cranes with itself and docking of these heavy load career is considered a major milestone for such a project because till now India was not having a deep water transshipment port but now India is having and that port is also working and with the arrival of the ship and the arrival of many more ships in the coming times, it would be great to see that we as a shipping nation is also developing and as a we already have 13 major ports and there is there are ports like this which is in making and are about to get complete and this will be a great great opportunity and this will also bring many benefits with itself why india needs a container transshipment pro port what is the need so india has 13 major ports and the country lacks a land side mega port and terminal infrastructure to deal with ultra large container ships. So, till now whenever we needed all th these ships to transfer material or to transfer big cargoes from one place to another place, in our country we were not able to deal with it, but now we will be able to deal with it. 
नियरली सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ इंडिया ट्रांसशिपमेंट कार्गो इज हैंडल्ड एट पोर्ट आउटसाइड इंडिया वेन वी आर सच अ बिग कंट्री बट स्टिल वी वर नॉट एबल टू हैंडल आर ओन कार्गोज एंड इन द इयर ट्वेंटी टोटल ट्रांसशिपमेंट कार्गो ऑफ इंडिया वॉज फोर पॉइंट सिक्स मिलियन टीईयू एंड आउट ऑफ दिस फोर पॉइंट सिक्स मिलियन टीईयू फोर पॉइंट टू मिलियन टीईयू वॉज हैंडल्ड आउटसाइड इंडिया सो देर वॉज अ डियर नीड विच वॉज फेल्ड दैट वी एज अ नेशन नीड टू डिवेलप अ पोर्ट विच इज अ डीप वॉटर ट्रांसशिपमेंट पोर्ट इन आर ओन कंट्री सो दैट दिस टोटल ट्रांसशिपमेंट कार्गो ऑफ इंडिया कैन कैन टेक प्लेस इन साइड द कंट्री देन वॉट कैन वॉट वुड बी द बेनिफिट दैट विल इंडिया बी टेकिंग आउट फ्रॉम दिस पोर्ट सो दैट इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फॉर एक्स सेविंग्स बिकॉज वेन एवर वी वेन एवर अदर शिप्स फ्रॉम अदर कंट्रीज आर कमिंग एंड डूइंग एंड सर्विंग आर पर्पज देन वी ऑल्सो नीड टू पे दैम बैक एंड मेनी आर टाइम्स वी पे दैम बैक इन फॉर एक्स रिजर्व और यू कैन से इन डॉलर्स देन फॉरन डायरेक्ट इन्वेस्टमेंट इफ द पोर्ट इज बिल्डिंग अ पोर्ट is a is a capital expenditure it takes a lot lot of capital to be built then increased economic activity at other indian ports also because if the transshipment would take place in our country then the movement of the ships will also increase at india's ports development of logistics infrastructure for the develop for the movement of big ships from one place to another place and now will be taking place in our country so there other logistic infrastructure also needs to be developed employment generation people will work at that port and port needs a a huge manpower it won't be in hundreds it will go in thousands improved operation logistics efficiencies and increase in revenue share now that uh, the the cargo ships which were going outside the country in the coming times will be able to come in india also so that will also help in saving revenue and scaling up of the revenue also and the improved operation and logistics efficiencies as in our country because this would be the first deep water transshipment port so as a nation we will try to make sure that the logistics and the efficiency and the productivity of the port works really well so that on global level we will be able to generate goodwill on our name so that more and more more and more business and of at this port can take place in the coming times now in the end a prelims mcq and you people need to tell me the answer in the comment section which among the following are major ports of india you have to choose the correct code and the four ports are innor port jawaharlal nehru port new mangalore port or pradeep port and the codes are only 3 only 3 and 4 only 1 and 2 1 2 3 and 4 so give me the answer in the comment section and that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading and keep writing